Alright, I'm back. Boom. Cool. So, good. That's one other thing out of the way of things I needed to do. Nice. All right. I'm so glad the word ha world has SpongeBob. I agree. SpongeBob is fantastic. Okay, post the paragraph, Robin, and we will take a look. What clauses? My clauses? I'm confused. I don't think so. I think Robin's looking for help with her own paragraph. I'm confused. Maybe it's the truck thing? What truck thing? Bleak, speak clearly, Robin. Speak clearly. <laughs> Paint her dad's squad car neon orange. I'm confused. What are we talking about? Now, 
Well, apparently it's above mine too, pa <laughs> Proud. I don't know what she's talking about. Posted where? Where did you post it? You didn't tell me where you posted it. <laughs> what are you talking about? It didn't go through. It's probably too long. Yeah, no, it, it didn't go through, Robin. <laughs> I wish they gave you uh, an indicator of when that happens though cuz I it's so weird. Well, the first thing I will note is that at the time and however are the same type of sentence fragment. So, um, you can remove one. You don't need both of them. I would probably keep at the time and just cut the however. Um, are you cool if I copy this into my word processor? I guess I don't have to do it. Um, I'll do it as a WordPad doc and then I don't have to actually save it as part of my draft. Um, I'll make the text real big. Yeah, no, I was just all worried. Anyway, I was being weird. It's fine. I'll just do it like this. This might be too big. Ooh, that's way too big. Okay. This is going to be one paragraph, right? That's still too big. That's still really big. Let's go down to 18. That's fine. We'll go with that.
I don't think any of this part is necessary, to be honest. So I would just delete this. Mm, but then it kind of ruins this sentence here. I guess I just I just think that this kind of thought here, like the chief would have to step down, is just weird. I think it'd be. I agree with that too. I definitely think this is two paragraphs. I think this sentence can stay, but it needs to be rewritten. Like, I think you should rewrite this sentence. Well, so the problem is, is that uh, I agree with Sam. I think style excuses you kind of telling more than showing. So that's definitely a thing. Uh, as well as I kind of personally feel that a first person narrator tends to be a bit more of a telling narrator than a than a showing narrator because of those things like style because you're getting into his head and he's telling the story in a specific way it's why um unreliable narrators works really well in first person stuff like that right it's uh, it's about how they're telling the story as much as it's about them telling a story so for me personally i f i feel like uh, a first person perspective is more of a of a telling not showing style so that's what I think anyway so like I like this line like that's good I don't think you need this like I don't like the for that last one, but I'm not 100% sure how I would fix it right now. I think, I kind of like that time more than the time. Because that, to me, seems more specific of a single moment. This one can stay as the. I think the first one should be that. All right, so I'm gonna save this, Robin. Um, all 
And I'm going to post it in Discord for you. Cool. Yeah, I mean that that might actually happen. We'll see. Forty. Yeah, um, we'll discuss that, Sam. Uh, I'll discuss that with you off stream, and uh, we can make a decision about that. Uh, I suspect it would. <laughs> is the kind of the gist. But yeah, we'll discuss that off stream. Are you sure you're ready, Sam, for the torrent of incoming suggestions? I am always ready. Good. So what you're saying is, is your character is now named Danger Ready? Keep that open for later.
<laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, Sam. Thirteen words for my twist ending, which I have in, come up with, and then uh, after I'm done this, we're gonna close out the stream. Um, I'm not gonna finish week seven. That's okay. That's okay. We're okay with that. Drop that oddly. What oddly? Oh. Good call, good call. Doorbell. Hey, the doorbell sounded correct today. Cool. It didn't sound like a weird dying thing. Nice. What's up, Robin? Uh. Not right this second. Don't worry, the door is being answered. Uh, no, I'll talk to you about it after. Robin, I want to get this done. But we can talk about it, yes. Oh, then yeah, sure, no problem. <laughs> UPS doesn't run on weekends. The door's been answered. Don't worry. God. This is had done, isn't it?
No, I don't like it. I don't like using the word actions there. Um, not to mention, I only really need to cut one word. I can remove this ended, I don't think. I think this should be theater more than seats. No, cause Sam, that implies that, uh, that implies that he's superimposing this person as somebody as like a common trope in film. Whereas I'm going for he this is literally this is literally the 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 slasher guy from the movie he had just watched. Oh right, you worked for Cineplex. I forgot about that. I think this sentence here needs needs to be tightened. No, it's still I still think it's too vague. Ugh. That sucks. I mean, that being said, it's not like those places are especially dirty or anything. Just. Well, fair enough. I have. I've been in many movie theaters. I've been in more movie theaters in the city than you have, Sam. <laughs> Better, better. It's good enough. It's just an exercise. It doesn't have to be perfect. Cool. Just gonna post this real quick.
Cool. So that's all done. All right. You should 100% do that, Proud. I think that's totally valid. All right, so that was pretty good. We got three of those done. We got our name for the title credits for the Read Write Podcast done. Um, yeah, I'm happy with the way today went. Today went good. I got trolled mad by my mods because uh, they do that. Um, what else happened? <laughs> uh, we went with, uh, arbitrary rules technician. So we went with. So unappreciative. Unappreciative for what? What? I'm very appreciative. I am very appreciative for you guys hanging out and uh, helping me generate random names. Yeah, but you didn't troll me, Proud. <laughs> if you did, I missed it. My bad. Yeah, Catalyst is one way to describe it. not the only way um so yeah uh that's gonna be it for me for today guys it's just about three o'clock um so we're ending pretty much on time uh <laughs> what else um yeah, uh, so tomorrow we'll be back at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Read Write podcast, where we'll be discussing This Bad Boy, The Dispossessed by Ursula K. Le Guin with my good friend Lucas uh, and co-host Sam, a.k.a. MC Pepper Pockets himself. Um, we'll be doing that tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else I need to indicate about... No, I got no other news, I think. I think that's it. Next week, I'm going to be doing a comic script, I think. Because I haven't done one of those in probably about uh, two months or so, I think. Does that make sense? No, I did. Yeah, because yeah. I haven't done one since sometime in February. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think next week I'll be working on a comic book script, mostly because I'm getting back into scripting on my personal projects. So that's definitely gonna be a thing. Um, yeah. As always, if you have any suggestions, uh, questions, comments, whatever, uh, you can check out my website down below where there's VODs of all the episodes or most of them. I'm still posting some I'm behind. Uh, what I should do, what I should do is I should just post. Um, yeah. What I should do is I should just post all of the, uh, all the VODs on the website and then I can fill in the other detail after like the other stuff that, that goes with it. Uh, Cause all my VODs have extra links, episode resources, files, all that kind of stuff of stuff we worked on and all that. Um, what else? Yeah. Oh, that's really funny proud. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. My train of thoughts all over the place. I'm nearly over this cold. I swear. I swear I'm nearly over it. Save it for tomorrow, Sam. Save it for tomorrow.
Yes. Tomorrow we will be discussing sociopolitical theory about the dispossessed. Yay. Cool. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, so without further ado, uh, my name is Brendan. This is Accidental Origin, a weekly writing web show. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern for the Rewrite podcast live on here, this channel right here. And um, also next week, next Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern, I'll be back for the next episode of Accidental Origin. We're really close to hitting 52 episodes, which is a year. <laughs> Actually, I think, uh, yeah, we'll be officially hitting a year in four episodes from now. Is it 54 weeks in a year or 52? Am I crazy? 54, right? Yeah. All right. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We're hitting a year and four episodes. So um, there will be a special event for that, which I have not decided what I'm doing yet, but I have some good ideas. Yeah, no, I thought it was 52. Anyway, whatever. Not important. The math just makes no sense. Just makes no sense. Oh, what? Huh? I don't know. Whatever. Not important. Without further ado, my name is Ren. This is Action and Origin, your weekly rating web show. I will see you all next week. Bye.